Tony Stewart is going to win at Watkins Glen, his third win of the season and his first win at this historic road course. Tony, you've done a whole lot of winning in your NASCAR career. And right here at Watkins Glen, your most wins at five. But what I want to know is if, will you take me in this car and show me how you were so good here? Yeah, let's go for a ride. Here's the keys, bro. All right, buddy. Let's, let's go. It. Have you ever drove from your motor coach to the racetrack? I haven't, and this is stressful. <laughs> I just, we almost sideswiped the king right there. Man, I'm so impressed with this run today. You've won a lot here. Why is this track so special? I mean, what kind of techniques did you use along the way? It never was really a scenario where I tried to do anything fancy. I mean, it, literally the biggest thing that I had to learn was just the downshifts. The upshifts are easy. Another 10 or so gear shifts for Tony Stewart. And you're figuring, I, I got these guys. I'm doing something that they're not doing. Yeah, but at the time, I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> he I was doing it good. There was nothing about what I was doing that was fancy or special or anything. I was out there just doing my thing. And he's going to ride his way to a dominating win. He'll lead half the race today. Tony Stewart is the winner. As we head into turn one, I remember in 2007, you wheel hopped right here, and you lost the lead. New race leader is going to be Jeff Gordon as Tony Stewart goes off of turn number one. Then Jeff Gordon wheel hopped, and you eventually won the race after he wheel hopped. An uncharacteristic error for the master of the Glen. Jeff and I at that point were pushing each other so hard, and we were worried about diving each other in the corner, diving underneath. So we were driving in way, way, way deep in the corner, not really worrying about the exit as much. After you make that right hander, Back in the day, you and Jeff Gordon went flying up through the S's. You beat and banged off each other in 2000. And then you have the legendary, uh, I guess, pushing match. Hey, you're the one always busting my about taking it easy in the beginning. Hey, buddy, Make up your mind, all right? We'll speed up, you won't have that problem. We never even got to the pushing. We had a big car in between us. Yeah, <laughs> they, they wouldn't let you fight each other. No, no, not at all. Make up your mind what you want to do. You know what? You're going to do it, then I'm going to do it. Slam you straight in the wall the next time you're anywhere near me. As we go flying up through the S's, uh, the nickname. You want to go? You want to go flying through the S's this time? Really? We're gonna go flying through the S's? Don't wreck us. Okay. Oh boy, I got. Okay, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna go flying through the S's. You notice I'm sinking down in the seat a little bit now. This is the first time I've been around here, but they definitely changed them when they repaved the track. But it's... hold on, the first time around this racetrack is with me right now. Yeah. For this race. Yeah. Yes. I'm actually getting practice before practice. On board with Boris for a moment as they come through the last turn. 2010, turn two. You bump Boris out of the way, and then we hear some talking on the radio afterwards. Did something go on between you and him earlier? The thing that the we saw when we would have the, at the time they called them the road course ringers. And so when these guys that ran the road courses all the time came in, they weren't very patient. He gave that guy a room and he cheap shot him. Apparently he thought I was in his way. <laughs> that idiot tries to run us straight off the racetrack. I'm gonna hold my line. 2009 was your last win here and it made five wins. Do you remember anything about that race? We started, I think about 14th and really didn't get going until about the 20th lap and start working our way forward. Here he comes, the crowd on their feet. They're cheering the office depot Olds by Chevrolet to victory lane. This place has been a little special to you. You gonna miss it? I am gonna miss it. This is, uh, I think down the road, I'll get a chance to come back here, whether it's in a sports car or something. Oh, but, I like that. But um, it will definitely be fun to, to come back here and race in something else. Tony, thanks for taking us all those laps around the racetrack. Thank it, you, it's an honor to have been in this car and know that maybe I have a hand at you seeing the new racetrack. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. That, that at least gives me a little confidence of kind of knowing what's going on before I get there now. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Do Talk good. Time. I'm rooting you on. Thanks, man.